Hello guys, so today we are going to have a look at the SQL injection technique at a basic level. This SQL injection is based on the database vulnerability that is found in web applications, especially SQL. So now let's have a look at how this actually works. The query that is sent to the database is of the form is something like this. Select star from users where, where let's say name is equal to the username, the username variable and let's take a password and pass equals the password variable. So this will be the query that the SQL database runs to find those users with name plus username plus and password plus password plus. These are the variables that are sent back to the database by the user. For example, if my name is say Rocky, this is how the name is going to be checked and if my password is Rocky1. This is how it's going to be checked. So this query will be run if my name is Rocky and if I enter the password as Rocky1. Let's go back. Now let's see this practical example of how this thing works. For this we need a basic knowledge or know-how of Google Docs. What are Google Docs? Google Docs are nothing but some keywords that you can use to search for some specific terms in Google. For example, now what we want to search is admin login pages so that we can check if it is vulnerable to this specific type of attack or not. Let's type in the Google Doc in URL. This Google Doc or keyword searches for those terms present in the URL of the website. In URL, admin login dot aspx. So we are searching for those websites with admin login.aspx in their URL. So we have got this website satyamcolleges.com that has admin login.aspx in its URL. You can see that we have many other websites with admin login.aspx in its URL. Let's click on the first link that we are getting here. So this is the website of some college and we can find that it is an authentication of login ID and password. So if I know some password, it is password, password, I enter something and I try to log in but it does not obviously because we don't know the login id and password. Now what if we were to enter a query here instead of a user data? Like what if we were to enter a SQL code here so that this always validates to 1. For example, let's enter 1 apostrophe or 1 equals equals 1. Let's copy this, paste it in the password field and try to log in. What we can see now is we are welcome to the admin section. This is the basic example explanation of how this thing is done. Now let's see how this actually worked. And uh, this is a warning that you should not change anything after you enter into any website. This is only for educational purpose. So you sign out as soon as you have signed in using this technique. Now let's go back and see how this has worked. In this field, username, which was our login ID field in this specific website, what we had entered was 1 or 1 equals equals 1. So we got this, we got this, what this says is select all from users where name is equal to 1 or 1 equal to equal to 1 which are both true and hence this is validating to 1 or true at any condition and pass equals yet again we have the same fields entered here. This again validates to 1 every time. 
So in any admin field that is SQL vulnerable, if you are entering this code, you will log in directly to the website. Thanks for watching. Thank you.